So, so this uh, is no crisis at the border, right? This is, and look at this. Right. And this is just uh, folks coming across the border, uh, unaccompanied. They're housing them under a bridge. Yes. And uh, we're down here uh, near midnight on uh, Thursday evening, and uh, I've not been here before. Have you been here? Uh, I was here two years ago, and it bears no resemblance. We were controlling the border. Now we're hearing the Border Patrol is spending more time helping these families while criminals are bringing drugs and illicit materials into the United States. They don't have the resources to stop the illegal flow because the administration is allowing this flow that we see behind us. It's inhumane. And when they had the stay in Mexico policy, it was this at 45 year record lows where you did not have this. We've so. heard it from so many people, Border Patrol agents say there's no, there's nothing like this in, in years. And we have people being housed underneath a bridge. And while they're doing this, criminals are coming across the river poisoning our families and killing 80,000 people a year. It is a, it's a humanitarian crisis, a health crisis. They don't have the resources to test for COVID. And when they ask someone if they're sick, they say they're not sick because they know they can get released. And then they're released if they have a child under six years old and they're asked to come back in four years. How many are coming back? Smugglers are getting, what, 4,000 bucks? Right. Per uh, immigrant that they bring forward. The so. cartels just across the river are making almost $14 million a day to do this to these good people that need to come to this country legally. But now look at what the, how they're being treated. Just look at the, the I mean, look at what we're seeing here. It's sad for them and it's sad for America. And the Border Patrol agents that we were riding with said that under the Trump administration and policies, things were working right. It was the best it had ever been and the morale the Border Patrol agents was at its highest level. So President Biden said come and they did. And now look what they're uh, subjected to.